Welcome to the Law Firm Marketing Minute, your source of internet marketing inspiration. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Law Firm Marketing Minute. I'm your host, John Henson, and uh, this week wanted to kind of continue the thoughts from our little special episode last week um, where we shared our conversation with Gary Vaynerchuk with you um, because you know, there were a lot of good little nuggets and I think that it would be great to sort of, you know, kind of expand on a lot of those thoughts. So the kind of the first thing and kind of one of the big analogies that he made in that it, it was that hunting versus farming sort of thing where, you know, uh, I think most marketers, uh, most people, when they try to do marketing, they're in that hunting mindset. They are hunting for leads. So this is your SEO. This is your paid ads. This is any other kind of lead generation and even networking. Even and, and networking is super important. But that is hunting. That is hunting for new leads, new relationships, bringing people into, you know, let's let's call it your farm. Because then there's that other side of it. There's that farming aspect of it. And this is kind of, you know, this is another way of what we've been saying all along, where, you know, your biggest marketing asset is your contact list. One of the biggest things that law firms fail to do is keep in touch. And to Gary's point, you know, most people when they're marketing are focused on hunting. And, and there could be a ton of reasons why, you know, maybe that's just kind of how they've been subconsciously trained, because I know we, we know you're not being taught how to market in law school. Uh, you're not you're not learning about different buckets, quote unquote, um, for marketing, different strategies, anything like that. You're just going out and saying, hey, how do I get new business? And then the bulk of these marketing companies are talking about lead generation, cold lead generation, the hunting aspect of it. And so what we've kind of planted our flag on is that farming aspect of it, because not enough people are doing it, not enough companies are doing it, not enough companies are emphasizing it or even specializing in it. But that's what we're doing. And, and we're cultivating that audience and, and building up the referrals, the repeat business that you can get out of it. Um, you know, and, and look, there's, there's always a good reason to continue hunting for new leads, but to Gary's point, like you shouldn't do one over the other. You should absolutely be doing both. The problem is that there's not many, if any at all, good marketing companies out there who are good at doing both. And even then, uh, uh, hiring an in-house marketing person may not necessarily be good at doing both, or, or at least doing both well, even if you have a system in place uh, for, 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 you know, for them to do both. Um, I will say it is a lot easier for an in-house marketing person to execute both. Um, than it would be for a marketing company to execute both because, you know, a marketing company is obviously going to be working with multiple other firms trying to do the same. So there, there are, you know, they're going to spread themselves way thin if they're trying to execute eight, 10 different services for you. So that's why, you know, when you're working with vendors, you work with a specialized vendor, you know, and, and we encourage, you know, we encourage our clients like, hey, we'll absolutely work with your SEO guy. We'll work with your pay-per-click guy. We'll work with whoever else you want to work with. Um, some marketing companies are not as flexible. Um, and we've, we've run into some issues with that, with marketing companies who aren't willing to work with us uh, because they want to do things their way. They don't want our influence on anything or anything like that, which is unfortunate. But work with, you know, if you're going to take the vendor route, and, and vendors are going to be more cost effective for your firm, you know, like, for example, um, you know, working with us and, you know, anywhere from 12 to 18,000 a year, um, that's, you know, obviously going to be like a third of what you would be paying an in-house marketing person. Uh, and so even if you added on a, a hunter, so, you know, so to speak, uh, you know, you're still looking at, I don't know, maybe 20,000 a year, 25,000 a year. Um, 
so you're still probably saving, especially depending on the metro area that you're in. If you're in, you know, a bigger city, you know, you probably have to pay that person a little bit more, uh, just cost of living wise. And so there's there's still cost savings there, but you know, you could still end up getting better results because you're working with specialized people. Um, the other side of that is, you know, Gary kind of made the the comment that you know people focus on hunting, you know, what, just because it's the thrill of the hunt, you know, and and there's this imagery that we think about with farming, where it's like it's hot, it's a lot of manual labor, it's you know, it's just hard work, and I don't know if subconsciously people just kind of think that way, um, you know, and, and about sort of working with their own audience, maybe they don't see there's enough value there, but there really is, you know, and, and it just, it's, it's, as, it's as simple as keeping in touch, you know, this kind of farming way easier than actual farming. And so that's, that's why we keep saying that this, it's just so important to, to continue doing. And, um, you know, the nice thing about it is that if you wanted to handle it yourself, especially this farming aspect of it, focusing on your existing audience, uh, nurturing your existing audience, it's not hard. And, and there's and there's not a ton that you have to do. The more you do, the, the better results you'll get. Obviously, that's how um, most marketing works. But you, you know, even if you find that you don't have a ton of capacity to do it, doing something monthly, you know, just a monthly blog and a monthly newsletter. That's the starting point. That's the baseline. And you're going to start seeing consistent results. All right. Now, the, the, it, the time frame to seeing consistent results may be six months if that's all you're doing. But if you're doing, you know, if you're adding social media to it, if you're adding videos, if you're adding podcasts, that, that window shrinks because now people are seeing more and more of your content. You're, you're, uh, audience is being farmed a lot more consistently. And the, I mean, and the nice thing about it is, you know, you're not going to, um, you're not, you're not going to burn out the land. You're not going to burn out the crop. Uh, you know, it's always going to yield results from you. I'm trying really hard to make these farming metaphors work. Um, but you know, you're not, you're not going to burn out your audience, you know, you're, cause you're, you're going to continually replace people with people, you know, remove themselves and they will, and that's fine. You're going to be replacing them because your, your lead gen is going to replenish that over time, whether you're doing a concerted effort or not, because here's the nice thing about it, whether or not you're doing actual hunting, your farming through the referrals that it generates will replenish anyone who ends up leaving. All right. Um, and, and, you know, obviously it's different for everybody. I'm not going to say it's a, it's going to be at bare minimum, a one for one swap. Maybe, you know, maybe over time that audience will shrink if you're not doing some sort of lead gen, depending on where you are, maybe it will, uh, outpace any lead gen that you do. It's going to be different for everybody. Um, the, the thing is, is that, you know, I understand that we want simple solutions and we want black and white solutions. It's not always going to be the case, ne really ever going to be the case, honestly. And so you just got to find what works for you. But I can tell you this, I, I've seen this from experience. I've been doing this for several years now. Farming your audience has so much value in it, so much more cost-effective value, so much better conversion value than going out and constantly hunting for new leads and not enough law firms are doing it. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's it. You know, just not enough law firms are doing it. And if you make an effort and you start making more of an effort to do it, you're going to see results, especially if you haven't done much of it so far. And I know that it's not super sexy, like Mark said in, in his conversation with Gary. Um, it, it seems too simple, maybe too good to be true. And I get that. Um, you know, I did not have a marketing background uh, coming into this job. Um, my sort of frame of reference for marketing was that all, you had to do cold lead generation. 
you know? And so it took me a while to understand how valuable this was because it was like, no, this is so simple. Why, why, well, how does this even work? It's too simple, but it does. It does. And I can't express enough how easy it is, how simple it is that it works, you know, and, and I get it, you know, there was a quote uh, from a newspaper editor, I can't remember the name, but it went something like, you know, it's, it's only until we're getting sick of talking about something that people will actually start to listen. And, um, you know, we're going to keep talking about this forever, you know, so people will listen eventually, you'll listen eventually, uh, if you're not doing this yet. Um, and so I, just give it a shot, you know, the, the, the nice thing about it is that I, for most law firms, your business is not going to suffer if you reapportion some of your marketing budget to farming your audience. And if you find that after six, eight, 10 months that it's not producing for you, go back. You know, um, I would, I would, highly recommend you talk to us and see maybe, you know, if you're not seeing the results, see what's, you know, what may not be working correctly. Um, You know, I'm happy to to chat with you about that. Um, But start just staying in touch, start staying in touch consistently with your audience. And it seems so simple. It can't possibly work, but it does. Uh, We've seen it work for hundreds of, of the lawyers that we've worked with. It's going to work for you, regardless of how big your metro area is. It's just, it's the simple act of staying in touch and reminding people of who you are and how you can help. And that was the, that was the whole point of, of what Gary Vee was saying. And Gary Vee said it himself. He believes in this. He understands it like that. That's, that's his thing. That's, you know, it's one, it's his biggest, one of his biggest um, marketing successes. It's just the idea of farming your audience, staying in touch, staying top of mind. And um, look, you know, you know, Gary said it himself, you know, maybe you just need someone else to tell you, uh, you know, someone with maybe even more credibility, uh, more uh, influencer status and Gary Vee, you're not going to get much higher than Gary Vee, you know, maybe the president, you know, maybe the president saying, yes, I believe in, in farming your audience. I don't know, but yeah, you know, give it a shot. And, and, you know, we're happy to talk to you about it. You, and and here's the thing about it, you know, you don't have to work with us to make it happen. You know, we have a bunch of tools on our website to help you execute this yourself. um, And and we're going to cheer you on along the way. So uh, if you're interested in in learning more, go to spotlightinsider.com. That's our new media website that that just launched Uh, tons of articles, videos, the podcasts are there, lots of resources there uh, to help you get everything off the ground or to help you improve what you're already doing. Uh, and then, you know, if you want us to just take it off your hands for you, we're happy to do that as well. And we're happy to chat with you about it. All right. Uh, really hope you guys enjoyed that Gary V conversation. Um, I hope you got some more inspiration out of this this week and that's going to do it. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Please visit lawfirmmarketingminute.com for more information. We'll see you next time.